Hey, what's up guys? I hope you're having a great day today. I hope this video finds you well. Um, I just wanna go over something that happened to me this week. I wanna encourage you guys for your business. Should you turn down potential customers? And where does this actually come up? And uh, why should you have to turn them down, right? So um, just this last week, there, we had two disputes from our business that came in. We did all the work for them. Uh, we did everything that was promised. They did the checkout page. They agreed to our terms and our conditions and our service. And once the work was done, they uh, went to their bank and disputed the charge. Um, so as a business owner, not only did we have to do all the work, uh, but we had to give the money back. And then when you take payments online, you have to pay a $15 fee. So I did the work for them and paid 15 bucks for them um, after losing all the profits. So the point of the story and the point I'm bringing this up is there are times when you need to turn down new customers. These two new customers that came in, the very first phone call I had with them, after telling them everything that we provided and how we were gonna help them, the number one question was, is there any discounts? Can you give me any price off? Can you give me half off? Can you give me a coupon code? And at that time, when they were signing up, I agreed to it. I said, sure, so one I gave 50% off and one I gave $500 off on, their, on the product. So not only did I give them the product that I promised, I gave them a discount, and then I had to pay 15 bucks back to the bank after returning their money. So as a business owner, it's certain points you don't wanna turn down customers. If you're hurting for money or it's your only sale, you're just starting out, you wanna to try to take all the customers that come to you, everyone that is a potential lead, you wanna bring them on as a customer. But as soon as you have that feeling that that customer will not be a good client for you and your business, you need to turn them down even if it's gonna cost you a potential sale. Because what happens when they come back after you did the work, ask for the refund, and then you have to pay a dispute fee. What's up, Ivan? Thanks for joining us today. I appreciate it. So as a business owner, you don't wanna lose. You always wanna win, and by winning, you have to have good customers. Do everything you can for them, but also pre-qualify them. Make sure that they really want your service, that they're gonna be successful, and that they're gonna give you good recommendations and referrals. That's what really will grow your business right there. And as soon as you have that person coming in, asking for the refunds policy, asking for a discount or a coupon, not only are they not going to be successful with your product, but they won't be successful with their own business. So if somebody's not going to be successful with you and your business, why would you want them as a customer? Not only will they ask for maybe a refund or stop being a customer, maybe they won't return next month, but then they might have a negative review to say about you. So always do a pre-qualification and don't be scared to turn people down. It's okay. I've done, up until this year, actually just recently, I've tried to accept every new customer and now I'm learning it's just not worth it. There's so much work you have to go in and put in afterwards that it's gonna take time away from the customers that actually care and that are gonna benefit you and your business. But most importantly, it's gonna take away from the customers that are gonna be successful with you. Those clients are gonna come in, they're gonna be successful, they're gonna love you, your services and your business, and then most important, they're gonna start referring and recommending your business to others. Those are the clients you wanna work for. Those are the clients you wanna put 100% in for instead of wasting your time on people that want refunds and aren't gonna be successful, whether it's with your business or their own. Now, we don't want people you know, going around talking about your business only good things. So that's why I want to encourage you guys to really step up, really do your best to try to pre-qualify people. And as soon as you have that bad feeling, just tell them it's not going to be a good fit. So I hope this video found you well. I hope it benefits you and start implementing in your business. And if you need any help, just make sure you let me know. Hope you guys have a great weekend.